New from us at the half hour as we approach the beginning of another school year, enrollment is open for Baldwin County Virtual School. There is thriving and an open house was held today for prospective students and parents. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick joined him. He talked with some of the current and new students about what that virtual school is going to offer. High school students in Baldwin County have a choice between traditional school or virtual school. Some parents and their teens got introduced to what Baldwin County Virtual School is all about today. After orientation, some current students went over what they see as benefits. At first, I had a full-time job um, at a preschool, so it gave me that flexibility I needed to go to work during the day, and then I did my schoolwork at night. I'm a very busy person. I always have something going on that I have to do, so I'm able to do my other activities while still being able to get all my schoolwork done. The school may be virtual, but the teachers and the facility are very real. The main campus on Highway 98 in Daphne is inviting and contemporary. It, along with three other campuses across the county, are open to students at any time. So it works out for them to be able to do their coursework when they need to do their coursework, but they have teachers here that if they're having a problem with Unit 5, Activity 1, they can come in and sit down with that teacher and work through it and get that guidance that they need. Holly Resmondo has been principal of the virtual school for five years, so she's seen the ups and downs. The challenge of COVID driving thousands of students into the program was daunting. She says much was learned, and the school and faculty have come out on the other side stronger for it. We had a good program before and we have a great program now. Um, that year uh, we learned that everybody on our campus can do any job they have to do because we went from 300 students to 3,200 students in a matter of a couple of weeks. Baldwin County Virtual School isn't for every student. There is an application process and students must meet certain academic and behavioral guidelines. But for those with good time management skills and a busy lifestyle, it may be just what they're looking for. It's had an extreme amount of resources. To, there's plenty and there's really helpful people here. Like, it's got everything that you need for it. You're giving them the tools that they need to succeed and you've got still the support and the clubs and organizations to keep them engaged socially so that you don't miss that part from just being stuck at home doing virtual. Just a few years ago, Baldwin County Virtual Schools only had about 300 students. That was for grades 7 through 12. Now it's only offered for high school students. They're expecting an enrollment this year of at least 400. Now enrollment is open right now, and we will provide a link to do just that online at our website, fox10tv.com. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. Okay.